Do you remember Writer Zen? And I'm asking because it's been a while for me without uh, talking about Writer Zen. But if you know me, if you know my channel, and if you watch some of my old videos, uh, you know that uh, I really like Writer Zen. It's uh, still my favorite keyword research tool, even if uh, it's not uh, just a keyword research tool. In fact, it's a comprehensive SEO content creation tool, similar to Phrase, for example, or Surfer SEO, slightly different, but uh, this is a really good tool. And I really hope you took advantage of the AppSumo lifetime deal when it was available. It's not available anymore for a few months now, but uh, it remains a great tool. And now it's even better because they made an update in the last few days. And it's really interesting because now you can uh, find specific keywords for specific search intent and find find really good keyword clusters to earn your topical authority. Anyway, welcome to Digital Toolcase. If you like this kind of video, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. First of all, uh, let's go to the pricing page for Writer Zen because now they integrated uh, AI words uh, into monthly plans. For example, these are the monthly plans. You start from this light plan with 10,000 keyword credits and 20,000 AI writing words included in this price. And from here to the most expensive one, you have unlimited AI writing words. If you want to use AI writing words inside Writer Zen. The most important thing here, in my opinion, is these keyword credits because you really need keyword credits in order to find the best keywords. Here you can see also a full comparison. And if you click on the link in the description, you obviously can go to this page, make your comparison and decide which plan is the best for your use case with Writer Zen? If you pay annually, you also have a 30% off, so you will pay less. Anyway, let's go inside Writer Zen. This is obviously the dashboard. I will start by searching for a keyword in the Keyword Explorer, but this update is specific to Keyword Planner. Anyway, I need to start from here. So. Let's pretend I want to search for a seed keyword. United States, let me choose English in this case, and let's pretend I want to generate a niche site or a section for a site that talks about aromatherapy. So let's take this as an example. I will do this search. This is my seed keyword. So now Writer Zen will find I think uh, thousands of uh, keywords, related keywords to this aromatherapy one. These numbers are just for my seed keyword and here I can see the trend. But if I go here, as you can see, I have more than 6,000 keywords. These are all related keywords for aromatherapy. I can filter them by phrase match, having same terms, also search for, or I can filter for other things here. For example, include words, exclude the words, the volume, the CPC, the word count, and so on. Let me just filter, for example, for word count. I only want at least three words in a keyword. And as you can see now, if I click here, I have 4,423 keywords. I can also filter for volume if I want. Let's say I want keywords with at least 20 monthly searches. And now I only have more than 2,000 keywords. For the sake of this example, I will get rid of this filter. I can, for example, choose four words because I only want long tail keywords. And now I have 2697 keywords. This is the first step. Obviously, you can filter more. You can even choose manually the keywords you want to analyze or 
you can just select all these uh, 2600 keywords and now click on this uh, cluster button. When you click here, you can choose if you want to cluster all. And if you choose this one, you will cluster all the 6000 keywords or just the selected ones. If I click here, as you can see, I have some options. I can choose the clustering level and uh, usually the best uh, number here, if you have a ton of keywords, it's uh, five, but you can also choose a three, for example, if you have less keywords here or seven. This number is important because as you can see, it's grouping keywords with uh, five similar results in the SERP. And this is just the first step. Now I can create a new cluster project, aromatherapy, and here this action will require 2697 keyword credits. So I have credits, no problem, I can activate. And now I just need to wait for the keyword planner to collect data. It will take some minutes, so I will resume this video. And here it is, as you can see, now after just a few minutes, I have this uh, screen and it's divided by topic here in the first column, clusters in this column and top uh, uh, keywords for every single cluster. Why I like this new visualization? Because if you want to build an entire niche site, well, you have uh, your different topics uh, you need to include in your uh, niche site. You have uh, different clusters and for every topic you have different clusters. For every cluster you have different keywords. Why clustering is important? Because all these keywords in this example, in these uh, top five essential oils, can be included in the same article. And uh, instead of generating a single article for each one of these, well, all these keywords rank the same sites or quite the same sites uh, in uh, the SERP. So if you generate an article and include all these keywords, you have more opportunity, you have more probability to rank for each one of these keywords in the SERP. And you have a total search volume of more than 12,000. In this case, obviously, every cluster is different. You have a different number of keywords and you have a different number of search volume. But this is really, really, really good as an improvement. And it's not the only one. As you can see, now you have a search intent here. In this case, you can see an I, it's uh, informational. In other clusters, you have other kind of keywords, in this case, uh, transactional. You have, uh, again, informational and so on. It depends uh, from uh, the different topics and different clusters. Here, as you can see, you also have commercial keywords. Uh, you have a transactional keywords, informational keywords. Why this is important? Because here you know, you know that you have to generate an informational kind of article, maybe a listicle, as you can see, top five essential oils, which essential oils to buy and so on. All these keywords can be subsections of your article. And it's not all because uh, uh, you don't have only this intent now, you also have this micro intent because every single keyword is for a different uh, stage of the funnel where your reader is. Aggregation overview, expansional, this is for someone that is searching for information about something. Again, aggregation overview. And if I go here, expansional definition. Uh, and again, you have a different kind of uh, micro intents, for example, service product or category selection. 
and so on. So you know exactly the kind of article you want to generate by including these uh, keywords. In this example, uh, it's an informational article made for beginners, for example, because as you can see, they are searching for information and uh, overview, expansion also, they are searching for more information. If you have some brand keywords, you also can see the brand here and you can also filter for the brand. Now, I don't know if in this case I have brands. Here it is, Bath and Body Works. It's a brand for essential oils. So you can see the keywords that include a brand. This is very useful because maybe you don't want these keywords on your blog, on your articles. And if I go again here on calming essential oils, uh, this is a quite a generic topic. It can be a section, a category on your blog, for example, and then you can generate an article for each one of these clusters. So you already have the site structure by uh, generating articles for uh, quite everything you can find here. Maybe not all, because obviously some of these uh, clusters may not apply to your blog. You also have other interesting tabs here because you have non-brand keywords, consideration, aggregation overview, informational article. What does it mean? It means this cluster it's uh, perfect for writing an informational article for consideration. It's a non-brand cluster and you have your help here. So you can know exactly the content you need to generate with this cluster. I find this very, very cool. And here, for example, as you can see, I have many service product category selection keywords in this cluster, and it's suggesting me to generate a product page in this case. So these keywords are not so good for blog articles, but are very good for product pages, commercial intent, service and products consideration, and non-brand, even in this case. Here again, where I have the brand, it's a product page, commercial, brand, consideration, and also the name of the brand. Obviously, I can filter by brand or non-brand here. So if I want to filter, for example, for Amazon, I can apply this filter and I will see only the these keywords and these topics and clusters, or I can filter for intent. So if I want to generate articles, I need, for example, informational keywords, I can filter by this. I can also filter by SERP type. So I just want to see clusters where I can generate an article. Uh, where the article is the best content to generate. I click on apply. And as you can see now, I have a perfect filter. I can also filter by search volume if I want and activate the golden filter. If you don't know what the golden filter is, please watch my oldest uh, writers and uh, videos. I can also add uh, other filters here by buying journey, for example, micro intent, uh, number of keywords, uh, total search volume and so on. Buying journey, it's uh, awareness or consideration. I have two different stages for these specific uh, topic and cluster, so I can even filter here again. I can really dig deeper in the kind of content I need to generate. It's fantastic. But uh, that's not all for this uh, big update, uh, because when I choose a topic and a cluster, as in this example, I can uh, click here on suggest content brief. This is using AI, so you will need AI words. Unfortunately, uh, I, I'm, I have to say unfortunately because I have the lifetime deal of uh, Writer Zen from Absumo and uh, as a lifetime dealer I only have 5,000 words per month with AI. If I want more, I suppose I have to purchase a different package. But uh, if you pay monthly, you will have more AI words. When you click here, suggest a content brief, you now have an AI suggestion on the content 
it's better to produce using these keywords. As you can see, Content Angle, a comprehensive guide to the top five essential oils for aromatherapy, highlighting their benefits, uses, and potential side effects, and so on. So you know exactly the kind of article you need to generate. You have a target audience, beginners in aromatherapy, you have the format, how to guide, it's the suggested one in this case. You have an author perspective, expert in aromatherapy. You have the writing tone and you have the seed keyword. It's saying highest volume keyword. In this case, it's the best essential oils. As you can see, it's the one with the highest volume. So now in Writer Zen, you can also have suggestion. Now, you can decide if you want to create article here using uh, uh, Writer Zen. I will not show you this part because I have uh, a few AI words, so I can't really generate an entire article with my plan, but you can uh, decide to do it or you can take these keywords all these topics you can obviously export everything if you want here as you can see export you can take all these suggestions and use them in another ai tool for instance in chat gpt or the ai writing tool you usually use you know perfectly you need to generate an how to guide for beginners with this content angle and this author perspective, this is so good. This is so useful to generate your topical map for your website, for your blog, or for a single section of your blog and to earn your topical authority. I think this is one of the best updates for uh, Writer Zen since when it's been released. Really, really, really so cool. And this is it for this update. Again, you can find the link in the description. You have a 30 day free trial for Writer Zen. This now is 30 days, it was 7 days. So, now you have more time to try it, use it without credit card. You can cancel any time uh, and I highly suggest you to try uh, Writer Zen. It's uh, again one of my favorite tool and uh, as you can see it has a topic discovery, keyword explorer, keyword planner, content creator with AI, plagiarism checker, team function for the price you can see here again these are the monthly prices it starts from 23 dollars per month you obviously have a small number of keyword credits in this case and ai words so if you are serious this plan in my opinion it's the bare minimum if you pay annually it has a discount of 30 percent here you have unlimited ai words you have 20,000 keywords again not too much but it's way better than this one you will pay more but uh, please uh, take this in consideration once you do one research and i used the 2697 credits so suppose you have these 20,000 credits or even these 10,000 credits i used this number of credits and now i have content to generate for an entire site or an entire category an entire section of my site so maybe you can generate two or three of these sections every month if you pay for example just 23 dollars monthly and again maybe you can use uh, ai writing words from here or from ChatGPT or the tool you prefer so this is it for this new keyword planner update in writer zen i hope this video was helpful for you and if so please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see my previous videos about Writer Zen, you can find them on my channel or click here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.